All right, hey guys, we are at 28191 West Overway, Sun City. But you better look, here's your neighborhood. That's my car, by the way, if you keep seeing it everywhere. So, pretty quiet. Got a bird squawking. So, gravel front yards. House was built in 1969. They have done um, not a whole lot in updating. Windows are all single pane. I'm taking you out to the backyard first because we don't have, look at you got macaws or something, a little crow back here making a ruckus because we can't get into the back patio. So I want to show you from here. So here's your backyard. Lots of big, huge trees. You also have the power poles right there coming in. That's your next door neighbor. Can you see him up there? He's making a ruckus. Okay, so there's your yard. It's my yard. Coming back through the house. This house is at least a little bit more modern. They did replace carpet, and it looks like they've done some painting. But house is kind of maze-like. Front yard, flagpole. Hmm. So I didn't really notice anything out here. It looks like everything's pretty freshly painted. All the siding. You have security gates. It's a double door. Double door. Coming in here, that is vinyl. These are wall things. Is that you making a ruckus? Yeah, I'm going through the shelves. Okay. That way. So when you're standing at the front door, here's your main living area. That leads to the bedrooms. This way over here leads to the kitchen. So here's a little dining area right here. pantry. It's not deep. And the kitchen. So again, you've got really old cabinets, laminate countertops, electric stove, hood vent. If you're wondering what that humming noise is, it is the refrigerator. I could open the door. Here's your garage. Two car. Let's see if we can get some light on here. Ah, light. Okay, so you got some cabinets here. Don't see that a lot. That is because she's on the garage ceiling. There's also some older shelves in here, attic access. Danger. Okay. Then, got some sort of a thing going on back here that is not to code for the record. It needs to be lifted. Spinker, timer. Little workshop back here. Seems strange to put acoustics on the ceiling in a garage, but they did. Danger. Okay, so here's your garage. Apparently this door doesn't like to shut. So coming back through the kitchen. Light. It's got this blue tile in it. You see that? I'll walk you in a minute. Coming on through. This carpet's new. And it smells freshly painted in here. Like I said, most of the houses out here, especially the ones built in the 70s, I'm oh, sorry, let's sidetrack really quick. There's the kitchen the opposite way. Uh, the 60s were here with these sunrooms on them. But they have locks in all the doors we can't get through there, and there's no key to the back. So, coming back through the main living area, I see a foot, a brown shoe. Perhaps. Uh, right, so coming down. So here's the first room. This room is actually really big. Don't know if you can tell, but they've got some built-in shelves. There are some beams in the ceilings. Once again, cottage cheese, as well as a double closet. Immediately off that bedroom is a standard coat closet. And then here, vinyl. In the shower. Nothing too noteworthy in here. Coming back down. This is the master. Yeah, there's this. It's pretty dated. But these do have drawers, so it's kind of cool. 
you're looking for some extra storage these all do pull out so small it's a small walk-in closet but it's a walk-in closet with a couple little shelves in there blue countertop again I was not quite alive in 1967, so I don't recall this, but I certainly do remember the 70s. <coughs> so here's your shower. Coming back through. <coughs> master. The master is pretty small, uh, especially in comparison to the room that we just saw. Sorry, it's dark in here. There's no other light. Here's another view of the sunroom from off the master. Be a nice place for a spa. And I'm assuming this is what they're calling bedroom number three because it looks like originally the front room that's so big was probably a two that they combined into one. It's small, but it is what it is. So if you want somebody sleeping right off the master bedroom, it would work if there was a nursery, but this is a 55 plus community, so not really sure what that's all about. Anyway, that's that.